Hey, how are you all doing? Welcome to this N-Lite video link tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a, um, a really quick little cool glitch transition that you can apply to a video. And I've already done some effects to a video, so you'll get to see the sort of end product of the video at the end. So let's stop talking, let's get straight into it. So here I've just got some stock image and basically it's this, um, it's, a, it's a car basically. And it, um, I've just already sort of prepped the video itself and just broke it down <clears throat> basically by splitting the clip on where it changes from the headlight to the grill and then from the grill to the mirror and then from the mirror, we've added a little bit of a glitch there. That's the glitch that we're going to that we're going to use. That glitch is just um, just to show that you don't have to have a split clip to in order to use this effect. And we've got it again there, just changing from the mirror to the um, to the spoiler at the rear. So I've also what I've done here, I've um, I've added some music to the clip, and I've actually cut the music down. If you look, I've faded it out here and cut into a different music clip here so it just changes as we transition through the um, and it just matches the music so the changes matches the music so it's like that's a good um, good little thing to do and maybe i'll do a tutorial on that next time um, on how to sort of adjust music to fit to your transitions i suppose so basically this um, this little glitch transition is um, it's really really simple so like i said the only reason i've split this here is just to show myself where it actually switches because one thing that enlight's missing and i have spoke to the support team about this is the ability so like if i want to like see on the music here you'll see that if you, if i let me zoom in to the screen that the the music there's a beat there on the music but if i want to work with a video i can't see where that beat on the music is so it'd be awesome just to be able to add a little marker in the timeline somewhere so if you're listening in live support i'm going to email you again about this and likewise i'm going to have to split there i'm not going to use the transition there i'm just going to use it as a split to show me where the clip split because there's no markers so yeah let's um let's get on so i'm just going to go to my effects and I'm gonna add a prism effect. So this prism effect will be quite big like this. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the little teardrop just to drag it down a little bit. And we don't need this effect to be big at all. So I'm gonna grab the anchor points at the end and pull that right in. So it's just sort of like um, a frame either side of that, that cut, okay? So now I get this little circle on my screen. I want to keyframe this effect. So I'm gonna pinch and squeeze to make the effect more um, apparent look. Pinch and squeeze that circle inwards and then drag that circle up to the right hand side and you get this effect. And then I'm gonna press the little diamond keyframe to add a keyframe down here. So once I've pressed that, it's an auto keyframe sort of um, system. So I don't need to press the keyframe again. As soon as I move that effect, it will keyframe um, as long as I move my timeline up here and then drag this here, you'll see it gives a diamond on the screen, which is automatically already um, included a keyframe. So if I scroll through that now, I already get this nice effect like this. Real short, real sharp, um, and that's all we want it to be. Now I'm gonna go back to the start and I'm gonna go back a screen and this time I'm gonna add a glitch effect and I'm gonna add the RGB, and the RGB just gives it that like um, red, green, blue, sort of prism sort of feeling, I suppose. So it just intensifies this. So if I was to turn that down, um, you see I've just gone into the tools of the RGB, and I'm just gonna keep it low there for now, press the keyframe, go up to here, and then ramp that right up. So you get this real nice um, red, green, blue, um, split effect so it just gives it more of a nice um, sort of glitch feel you could have a few more glitch um, effects to it but I really don't want to I just want to keep it really simple just two effects so it's really really simple so you're not wasting lots of time on transitions and then I'm going to go up to my next split because again if I click the music that's again where a beat 
comes in there or a beat change, a marked change in the music, just to um, have the um, video change, switch tact with the, with the music. And, um, and again, really simple. I'm gonna go to my, um, my effects first. I'm gonna add the prism effect. Again, I'm gonna drag it down, a little teardrop, press and hold, shorten the clip down. <laughs> Let me go to this end because it's way too long. Shorten that clip down. This one I'm gonna make a little bit longer. Not a lot, but just a little bit longer. And then I'm gonna go again, do the same, but this time I'm gonna come in from the bottom left here. Keyframe, remember, move down the timeline. It's an auto keyframe system, so I can go back up to the top here. So that's auto keyframe, that for me, on that change. And now all you'll see, because I've made it a little bit longer, the already, let me, let me play this through. That transition might, for some, feel a little bit long. So what we could do is we could remove that keyframe. So I'm hovering over the keyframe in the timeline and then clicking the little diamond button to remove the keyframe. I'm gonna drag the anchors in a little bit, make it a little bit shorter, and then just do keyframe that in the corner, that's where I want it, and then keyframe up here somewhere in the middle because that's where I want it. Now next I'm gonna go back again, back a screen, I'm gonna to go to my glitch effect, RGB. Again in the RGB, just drag that anchor point out so it matches the prism anchor point. Um, we're gonna start at zero intensity, and then as we go through, sort of this time at the midpoint, I'm gonna go max intensity, so that effect stays there. And then as we come here, I'm just gonna drag that effect down a little bit. So I've actually, had three keyframes on this short clip here, and it'll just intensify the, the sort of glitch feel. So it just intensifies the glitch feel there, and then, um, and that's really as simple as that is. And all I've done on the end here is I have faded the music out as we go into the end. But here, what you could actually do, you could actually add another sort of, um, transition there if you wanted to, but I've just let it play through and I've added a little bit of an effect to this little text at the end just to finish it off nicely with a fade out as well. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and I'll, um, I'll speak to you soon. See you later. Boom.